This is episode six of the C Sharp Fundamentals series. I'm Noah, creator of Blackthorn Prod. And in this last episode, we will take a look at a key programming concept, loops. Now note that this video was written by my brother Liam, who also happens to be a great game programmer, but is presented to you by me due to some technical difficulties with his Mac. With that said, let's get cracking. A loop will simply let us repeat things in a concise and very clean manner. So let's already discuss why we would want to use loops in our code. Well, imagine we wanted to print out a series of numbers, starting at 1 and finishing at 10. What I could do is simply write 10 print lines of code, but this is time consuming and messy. Using a loop will give us the exact same result, but writing much less code and thus making our scripts cleaner and easier to understand and tweak. So there are three loops that we often use in C Sharp. Firstly, we have the while loop. Basically, this loop will continue to run while a certain condition is met. So in our example, we could create a variable called i and set it equal to zero. Note that i is the convention for loops, but you can call this variable anything you like. Then we could write while i is less or equal to 10, then print out i and finish off by writing i++ to increment the value of i by 1 each time we go through the loop. So i starts at 0, 0 is of course less than 10, and so we run the code inside the while loop, printing the value of i and then incrementing i of 1. Now i is equal to 0 plus 1, so 1. 1 is of course less than 10, so we run the code in the while loop once again, and this until the condition inside the parentheses, so i less or equal to 10, is no longer met. The next loop is the for loop. The syntax is as follows. For i equals 0, i less or equal to 10, i++. plus plus. Then let's just print out i. So this loop does three things. It creates a variable, defines a condition in which the loop will run, and also increments the value of i at the end of each iteration. And all that in just one line of code, contrary to the while loop that does that in three lines. The last loop is the for each loop. This one is used to iterate through an array. So let's say we had an array of integers called numbers, containing the numbers from 1 to 10. I could then just write for each int current number in the numbers, and inside the loop, print our current number. So basically, we are going through each item in the numbers array, and each time we go through the loop, our current number int variable will be equal to a number of our array. So current number will first of all be equal to 1, then 2, 3, 4, and so on. So to recap, in a for each loop, you start by declaring a variable of the same type as the array you want to loop through, and of course, the name of the array you want to loop through is stated right after the in keywords. Okay, thanks so much for watching this quick C-sharp video. I hope everything was clear. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more in-depth game development content, such as the Enemy Intelligence playlist or the Fire of Belief devlog. Alright, I will see you very soon. Cheers!